we greet our dear andunulapam readers in the mighty name of the lord jesus it's 13th of may the monday year 2024 today let's meditate on the topic the third day then god said let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear and it was so from the book of genesis chapter 1 verse 9 God created the heavens and the heavenly firmament in the first two days of creation and for the third day his creative power was focused upon the earth today even though two thirds of the earth is covered with the seas he reserved one third of the earth for the mankind to dwell he commanded for the dry land to appear and it was so what a body such as seas spiritually denote the struggles and tribulations The scripture says deep calls unto deep at the noise of your waterfalls all your waves and billows have gone over me from the book of psalm chapter 42 verse 7 king david lamented about his griefs and tribulations i sink in deep mire where there is no standing i have come into deep waters where the floods overflow me let not the flood water overflow me nor let the deep swallow me up and let not the pit shut its mouth on me from the book of psalm 69 verse 2 and 15 but the lord has given us authority over the waters and the floods god who divided the red sea into two and who made the river jordan to roll back has promised us and says when you pass through the waters i'll be with you and through the rivers they shall not overflow you When you walk through the fire you shall not be burned nor shall the flame scorch you from the book of Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2 that is why prophet Elisha could challenge river Jordan by striking its water with his mantle and said where is the lord of god of Elijah and when he did that the waters of Jordan divided so Elisha could cross over Therefore you should never be afraid even when there are many floods rising up against you the lord is with you the psalmist says therefore we will not fear even though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea though its waters roar and be troubled though the mountains shake with its swelling from the book of psalm chapter 46 verse 2 and 3 Even if the world is surrounded by the seas the Lord has appointed a border for the waves of the seas so it cannot destroy the earth he has set his borders put up gates and bolts and commanded them and said you can come only this far and never cross the borders i have set for you let the pride of your waves be stopped at the borders that i have set that is why we are able to lead our lives happily and without fear the same manner the lord has appointed borders for all your trials and tribulations and they shall never be able to cross those borders and prevail over you amen verse for further meditation for the book of ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 7 all the rivers run into the sea and the sea is not full to the place from which the rivers come there they return again today's bible reading meditation for morning for the book of 2 kings chapter 17 and chapter 18 bible reading for the evening for the book of john chapter 3 verses 19 to 36 to 